Good morning, children. How are you all? Okay, I am also fine. Today we are going to study our new lesson that is uh, related to chemistry, that is metals and non-metals. Okay, so here uh, metals usually in the last year, means in the ninth standard, we are studying about the atoms and elements. Okay, the elements which are present in our nature, and there are some artificial elements, man-made elements. Okay. So in that elements, all the elements they broadly classified into metals and non-metals, metalloids. Okay, in the last year we have studied. So this year we are going to study about the properties of metals and non-metals. Okay, so here the properties of metals and non-metals. First, we should study about the physical properties. The physical properties of metals and non-metals. Okay, see here the metals. physical properties okay the physical properties of metals so metals usually they are metals are malleable and ductile okay just here metals are malleable and ductile metals malleable metals are all the metals are malleable okay just here all the metals are malleable malleable means what so they uh, the metals by beaten they make into thin sheets okay by beating they make into the thin sheets so that property is called as a malleability so all the metals are malleable okay when uh, the most malleable metals are the gold and silver gold and silver are the most malleable metals we can make into by beating we can make it to thin sheets so that is a malleability okay the metals are malleable and ductile ductile means what ductility means nothing but it drawn into the wires the metals are drawn into the wires okay so see here the malleable example the most malleable the most malleable metal the most malleable metals are gold and silver gold and silver are the most malleable metals okay so usually all the metals are malleable and ductile metals are malleable and ductile this is one of the physical property by beating by beaten the metals makes into thin sheets okay so that is the most malleable gold and uh, silver and so the second property is the second property is ductile so metals are ductile ductile means they may into they drawn into wires the drawn the metals drawn into wires is called as what ductility or ductile all the metals usually they are reserved for one of the property that is a ductile ductile means drawn into wires so that is a ductility okay so here ductile means made into uh, wires for example gold most ductile metal is gold okay just see here gold is drawn into wires so one gram of gold just see here one gram of gold drawn into 2 kilometers of wire just see here one gram of gold we can draw wire the length it should be extend that is a 2 kilometers around 2 kilometers so that is that's why gold is a gold is a most ductile metal gold is a most ductile metal and the most malleable metal is a gold and silver what is the what do you mean by malleability malleability means they made into thin sheets by beating and next ductile they drawn into wires okay so the next property metals are solid Usually, the metals are solid except mercury. Except mercury, so mercury is a liquid metal. Mercury is a liquid metal. Just see here. So the metals, almost all metals, are solid at room temperature. All the metals are solid at room temperature, except 
except mercury. Mercury is a liquid metal. Mercury is example for the liquid metal. Okay, so see here malleability, ductility, and almost all the metals are solid at room temperature except the mercury. Okay, so mercury is an example for what the liquid metal. Okay, the next after this the fourth one. Fourth one. Metals are okay. So the fourth one, the fourth property, metals are good conductor. Good conductors of heat and electricity. Okay, just here. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. It means they can conduct electricity as well as they can conduct the heat. Heat will be transferred from one part to the other part in by with the help of what the metals. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. Okay, it easily the electricity as well as heat will be transferred. Okay, that, that's why metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. The next metals are sonorous. So what do you mean by sonorous? Anybody? Good. Okay, sonorous means what? Sound producing. The metals are sonorous. So they can produce the sound usually on the metals. They produce the sound. So that's why they are sonorous. Metals are sonorous. Okay, that's one of the physical property. That is a sonorous. Metals are sonorous. Metals are group conductors of heat and electricity. The next step, metals are lustrous. Metals are lustrous. Lustrous means shining. Almost all metals are lustrous. So sound producing. Okay. So here sound producing, sonorous. Then lustrous means shining. All the metals are shining. Okay, so here this is also one of the physical property. All the metals are lustrous, sonorous, good conductor of heat and electricity. Okay, so here the metals, just here, metals, one of the proper physical properties of metals. Metals are malleable, metals are ductile, metals are good conductors of heat and electricity, metals are uh, sonorous, metals are lustrous, metals are lustrous, and uh, Metals are solid at room temperature except mercury. Mercury is an example for mercury is an example for uh, mercury is an example for what liquid metal. So here these are the properties. That is a here the, these are nothing but the physical properties. The next uh, physical properties of metals. And what about the physical properties of non-metals? Okay, so here the physical properties of non-metals are. They will break. It will not made into the thin sheets. So that is the property is nothing but non-malleable and non-ductile. Second one, non-ductile. Non-metals are non-ductile. Okay. So the non-metals are non-ductile means they will not run into the wires. So that is a non-ductile. The next third one, they are exist. They exist usually. Uh, the non-metals exist in all the three states: solid, liquid, and gas. They exist in all three states: solid, liquid, and gas. <laughs> okay. The next fourth one: non-metals are usually uh, here. The non-metals here. The physical properties of non-metals. First one, non-metals are non-malleable, non-ductile. They exist in all the three states: solid, liquid, and gas. 
but in the metals they exist only in solid except mercury okay the next they are bad conductors of heat and electricity bad conductors of heat and electricity just here uh, usually the non metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity metals are good conductors of heat and electricity but non metals are not uh, metals are bad conductor of heat and electricity means the current and the electricity as well as the heat they will not transfer okay the next fifth one non metals are non sonorous non sonorous means they will not produce sound non sonorous the non metals are non sonorous and non metals are non lustrous they will not shine the the non metals are they will not shine except iodine so iodine is a non metal they can it will be shining only the non metal that is a iodine iodine will shine that is a example for uh, shining non metal okay so here these are the, the physical properties of non metals so just here the physical properties of non metals non metals are non malleable non metals are non ductile non metals exist in three states solid liquid and gas non metals are bad conductor of heat and electricity non metals are non sonorous the non metals are non lustrous except iodine iodine is an example for shining non metal okay so these are what the physical properties of non metals okay so i hope all of you understood and uh, this one we studied in the last year also ninth standard also we studied the physical properties but now we have to study about the chemical properties before studying the chemical properties uh, once again i will revise the difference is between the metals and non metals on the basis of their physical properties okay see so here metals are malleable non metals are non malleable <coughs> metals are ductile non metals are non ductile <coughs> metals are good conductor of heat and electricity non metals are bad conductor of heat and electricity metals are solid except mercury mercury is an example for liquid metal non metals are exist in all the three states solid liquid and gas metals are uh, metals are lustrous non metals are non lustrous metals are sonorous non metals are non sonorous usually they will not uh, produce the sound so these are the physical properties of metals and non metals okay but the chemical properties now we are going to study about the chemical properties of metals okay first we study the chemical properties of metals then we study about the chemical properties of non metals okay just here chemical properties of metals so what are the chemical properties of metals just here uh, usually in this chapter we are going to study about the chemical properties chemically how the metals react with uh, each other means like uh, oxygen what is the reaction between metal and uh, oxygen what are the products okay the next uh, the action the reaction between metals and water what are the products the reaction between metal and acid how the metals react with acid the next uh, metals react with non metal The man, when the metal react with the non metal so we are going to study one by one with the examples okay just here uh, we have to study the chemical properties in the chemical properties that is a reaction the metal react reaction with the reaction with the oxygen oxygen then second one reaction with the reaction with the water third one reaction with acids and fourth one reaction with non metals okay just here this chapter we are going to study now the chemical properties already we have studied that 
the physical properties, the chemical properties, chemically how the metals react with oxygen, with water, with acids, with metals, what are the products will obtain. And uh, see here the reactivity series of the metals, uh, all the metals uh, they will not react in the same manner. It depends, some metals are highly reactive, some metals are less reactive. For example, take a sodium. Sodium is a highly reactive element. So that's why it is preserved in kerosene. We studied in the earlier classes that one. Sodium is a highly reactive element and metal, highly reactive metal. So it is preserved in kerosene. Okay. If we expose the sodium into the air, directly it reacts with oxygen and forms the oxide or sometimes it catches the fire. Okay. So that's why the sodium is preserved in the kerosene. Okay, like that, uh, there are some metals are there. Uh, gold at the normal conditions or normal temperature, uh, the iron, gold. Uh, there are there are so many metals are there. All the metals they are not reacting in the same manner. So they react with oxygen, water, and acids. But the reaction sometimes is slow, and some uh, metals the reaction is very fast. Okay, but so first we will study about uh, one by one. So reaction of uh, metal with the oxygen okay just see here the first reaction but the products will be formed by the reaction of the metal with the oxygen the reaction with oxygen okay see here when the metal reacts with oxygen when the metal usually all the metals when the metals react with oxygen formation of metal oxide metal oxide when metal exposed to the oxygen they react the reactant will be metal oxide that forms the oxide forms in the last uh, the first chapter we have studied that corrosion chloride okay there is a formation of layer that is called corrosion and all that is the reaction between the metals and the oxygen in presence of the moisture okay and then so metal usually uh, when reacts with oxygen formation of metal oxide the forms are metal oxide. For example, when copper, you take a copper and copper reacts with oxygen, formation of copper oxide. Okay, so that is a Cu. When reacts with O2, gives CuO. <coughs> that is a Cu. O, here oxygen is 2, 2 Cu plus O2 gives 2 Cu O. So this is about what the reaction between the copper and the oxygen. When the copper reacts with oxygen, formation of copper oxide. Okay, copper oxide. When the in general, when the metal reacts with oxygen, formation of metal oxide. For example, copper Cu when reacts with O2, formation of CuO that is a 2 Cu plus O2 gives 2 CuO that is a copper oxide. So this is the reaction with oxygen when the metals reacts with oxygen formation of metal oxide. Okay, so this is one example and uh, usually metals like sodium and potassium. Sodium and potassium they are highly reactive. Okay, uh, they are highly reactive when they expose to the air immediately they react and forms the oxide form. The sodium reacts with oxygen formation of sodium oxide and potassium when reacts with oxygen there is a formation of potassium oxides. So to avoid uh, the formation of oxides usually the metals like sodium and potassium they are uh, the sodium highly reactive elements they preserved in kerosene. <laughs> okay. So this is about what the metal and reacts with oxygen formation of metal oxide. Okay, the next, the second one is the reaction of metal, usually uh, these metal oxides, usually metal oxides, they are basic or uh, acidic in nature, basic in nature. Okay, when the metal oxide, uh, metal oxide reacts with acid, there is a formation of salt, there is a formation of salt. In the last uh, class we have studied that one, uh, the acids, bases and salts. When the acids react with the metal oxide, there is a formation of water, there is a salt <coughs> and water. Okay. 
So this is the first reaction. That is the reaction with oxygen. When metal reacts with oxygen, formation of metal oxide. Okay. When copper reacts with oxygen, copper oxide. Sodium reacts with oxygen, sodium oxide. Potassium reacts with oxygen, potassium oxide. When iron reacts with oxygen, iron oxide. In general, when metal reacts with oxygen, formation of metal oxide. I hope all of you have understood this one. All, all, all of you are getting this one. Okay. The next, the second one, when the the reaction with water, the reaction with water. reaction with water okay so see here the metals when react with water what will be the products usually see here when the metal react with water first it forms metal oxide plus hydrogen hydrogen gas will be released and further metal oxide again dissolves in water the excess of water converts metal hydroxide plus here hydrogen will be released okay see here when the metal usually reacts with hot water there is a formation of metal hydroxide and Hydrogen gas will be released. For example, uh, if you take a sodium, okay, take a piece of sodium, sodium, put it. Actually, this uh, reaction is very fast. It may catch the fire. That's why we take, you should take a small piece of sodium. Usually, sodium is present in kerosene. So a small piece of sodium into the water with a hissing sound. With a hissing sound, it reacts with water and burns with water. Then it may then sometimes it may catch the fire and releases water, hydrogen gas. Releases the hydrogen gas. When we put uh, <coughs> sodium piece, a small piece of sodium into the water, it burns with a hissing sound. Very fast name and releases the hydrogen gas. Okay, so that's why. So see here, sodium usually when reacts with water, there is a formation of sodium hydroxide and release of hydrogen gas. This gas is a hydrogen gas. So this is a very fast reaction. Uh, that is a when metal reacts with water, formation of metallic hydroxide and the release of hydrogen gas. So this is the reaction between metal and water. Okay, so here uh, when metals take the other metals when uh, magnesium reacts with water, magnesium hydroxide release of what the gas that is a hydrogen gas. And generally, all the metals when they react with when they react with water, there is a formation of metallic hydroxide and the release of hydrogen gas. Okay, so this is about the reaction of reaction with water. Okay, in the earlier we have studied reaction with oxygen. What is the difference between the oxygen? When the metal reacts, the same metal it reacts differently with the oxygen, differently with water, the different products will be obtained. Okay, so <coughs> here when the metal reacts with oxygen, formation of metal oxide. When the metal reacts with water, formation of metal hydroxide and releases the hydrogen gas for example when the metal reacts with uh, for example when iron reacts with water usually uh, at the normal condition the reaction is very slow and it, sometimes it will not react red hot iron when it passes uh, when the steam is passes over the red hot iron it reacts into uh, and forms the iron oxide hydroxide and the release of hydrogen gas okay and uh, when uh, zinc take a zinc zinc metal zinc reacts with water there is a formation of zinc zn hydroxide zinc hydroxide so so here usually when the metal reacts with water formation of metallic hydroxide and release of hydrogen gas okay 
So here take the uh, one large beaker, then take fill with water, add some quantity, <coughs> a small quantity of sodium into the water with a hissing sound, it releases the hydrogen gas. So the reaction is very fast, sometimes it catches the fire. So that's why sodium is a highly reactive and it is preserved in kerosene. Okay, understood all of this one. So this is the reaction of metal with water. Okay, and uh, the next we have to study about the reaction of metal with acids. The reaction of metals with acids. Before that, we will study one activity. Okay, so that is the reaction of metal with water. There is one activity. The next class we will study one activity that one. Okay. I hope all of you understood. In today's class, what we have studied the metals and non metals, the properties. Usually, the physical properties, uh, the, what are the physical properties of metals? Metals are malleable and metals are ductile, metals are sonorous, metals are lustrous, metals are good conductors of heat and electricity, metals are uh, solid except mercury mercury is an example for uh, liquid metal okay the non metals the physical properties of non metals metals are non malleable mm, sorry non metals are non malleable non metals are non ductile non metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity non metals are non lustrous non metals are non sonorous and uh, non metals usually exist in all the three states solid liquid and gas so that is a these are the physical properties and about the chemical properties the, the metals reacts differently with oxygen with water and with uh, acids and with uh, the non metal okay so first one we have studied the metal reacts with oxygen formation of metal oxide when the metal for example when sodium reacts with oxygen formation of sodium oxide one more example when copper reacts with oxygen formation of copper oxide okay so like that when aluminium reacts with oxygen aluminium oxide okay the next one other chemical property so that is a water when metal react with water okay uh, usually sodium is a highly reactive element or metal when sodium reacts with water there is a formation of sodium hydroxide and release of hydrogen gas <laughs> general in general we can say that when metal reacts with water formation of metallic hydroxide release of hydrogen gas so this is about the chemical properties and the remaining chemical properties we will study in the next class okay thank you